the, the collaboration with Damien Kulash from OK Go came about from another benefit that we played uh, in New Orleans for the Future Music of Coalition, which is an activist, socialist, social uh, justice organization that is involved with musicians and different policies that affect musicians. So they came to New Orleans, they have this artist residency thing, and Damien Kulash was one of them. They had the Indigo Girls, Jim James from My Morning Jacket, Matt Nathanson, and a whole bunch of others, right, that was involved in this concert that was at Tipitina's, and Bonarama was there also. And um, Damien was going to sing, do a instrument, like an acoustic guitar thing, but he figured with the Indigo Girls and Jim James, he didn't want to mess with that. That wasn't really his thing. So we picked out some songs, and Mark arranged some really killer arrangements of OK Go songs to, uh, for us to back Damien up. It's funny, we didn't know too much about him before. I guess your kids knew a little bit My about kids him. did, but we had to do a little homework on him. I was him. embarrassed. I mean, I didn't know once we, once we both started kind of looking at seeing who Damien was and what he was all about. It was like, wow, it's a pretty, pretty neat, neat band and great songs, yeah. great singer. And then when we, uh, we, the funny thing is we didn't get to meet him much or anything. We, did, we just talked to him a little bit over the phone. We kind of picked songs, you yeah. know, you help pick songs over the phone. <laughs> and our plane was late coming to this benefit. And I didn't get to rehearse with him or anything. Didn't get to really let him hear what his songs were going to sound like through our voice. You know, so he had no clue about us too much either. I mean, he, yeah. he knew a little bit about us. So. We, uh, our plane was late. Like I said, we got pretty much right up there and just jumped up and shook hands and went. In front of people, and it was uh, it was a magical moment for I think I think for both sides, uh, for for him and for us. We just we just had a ball and just hit it off yeah. backstage that night. In the spirit of everything that was going on, it was this was this was at that at that yeah. summit, right? Yeah, right. Tipitina's uh, the, the concert. All these people were there and were benef benefiting Al Carnival, Tom Johnson, and and a, and a whole bunch of other people. Um, but in the spirit of that whole night, uh, we just kind of immediately put our heads together and said, "Man, this would be great to." To, to do something again and to record something and for the same cause and keep kind of keep the flame going, you know. So uh, we uh, finally did it. We, we recorded a five-song EP about a few months ago. It just came out on Mardi Gras Day. It's on iTunes exclusively. It's called You're Not Alone. It's OK Go and Bonarama. And uh, we're super, super psyched about it. I guess that was the cool thing. Nobody fed the idea. To, to, it was just it was on the very first night and just moments after we met him and walked off the stage of doing the stuff together unrehearsed and spontaneous that was when it was kind of kind of we just kind of all looked at each other and said man we should just we should do, do something, something else with this this was too good not to do it again too much fun for selfish reasons and and there's a an amazing cause that we can we can we can put all this stuff towards and, and every single penny of of what comes in from iTunes is going is going yeah. to this to yeah. Sweet Home New Orleans and to our Carnival Tom Johnson. So I mean, interpreting Damien's songs were fun because we had all those things that are, uh, it's kind of like a palette. You could pick all those things and figure out which ones would work, which ones would you have to change slightly to make work within the context of Bonarama delivering those songs. And that, and that was fun. That was, that was, that was, uh, it was a lot of fun, fun reinterpreting those. He also picked a couple covers that are on the EP. Uh, uh, David Bowie's um, Rock and Roll Suicide. When, when he he he, he kind of called that one out, and when I, I played it in my mind, I was like, yeah, that could be cool. And then once once we kind of heard it, we were like, oh man, this yeah. is really cool because it's well, got this whole orchestra stuff. Yeah, and the vocals just lent itself to to what was really happening, you know. And, yeah, that's right. You know, he he said he told us he said I just couldn't wait to scream out that line, you know, you're not alone because we're here to help you. You know, it was like he was singing out to Al Johnson, you're that's not cool. alone. We're gonna we're here, you know. Yep.